Let's welcome back our co-hosts, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. Billy. Good morning, Rob. Great to be here. You are filled with vigor and life this morning. I am. That chainsaw woke me up. That's better than a cup of coffee. Got the blood flowing. <laughs> got the blood flowing. That's right. Yeah, Maria, she just jumps on a machine for an hour and sweats for a while to get her blood flowing. Yeah, a little bit longer than an hour, but more you know than an me. hour. Well, is that because the person <laughs> next to you was doing an hour? Well, actually, somebody came next to me, and I was a little irritated by that. But that's a whole other story. So, he was cranked up and tried to jack up his treadmill as yeah. high as mine, and of course, then I went. <laughs> A Even couple higher. more levels higher, <laughs> the, you know. The competitive nature. I, I can't help myself. It's yeah, it's a disease. I admit. <laughs> did you did you outdo him? Of course I did. <laughs> oh, there you go. He yeah. did thirteen minutes. Come on. <laughs> oh, you can do that on your head. I know. Years ago in the <laughs> years ago in the wellness center, where a group of us there every morning, uh, they had a Bill. contest. A number of uh, <laughs> number of points or hours you. Time you put calories burned. Calories yeah. burned. So she, not that she remembers. Yeah, it. And, yeah. And, and, yeah. One, and one one gentleman uh, tended to spend a lot of his time with his feet on both sides of the rail while the treadmill was running underneath him. So he was not exercising. But that particular month, he actually beat Maria for calories burned. Maria said that will never happen again. She was in there four, five, or six times a day <laughs> on the weekend. Oh, well, I'm right on that. And the next time she beat this guy by maybe thirty or forty, hundred or thousand. <laughs> calories burn something like that <laughs> sorry I, things don't change very much it's so. all in the name of good health yeah all not, in the name of not good necessarily health. mental good health but physical good health no, no no and competitiveness i admit i admit so our guest in this segment is uh the new sheriff of berkeley county rob blair good morning rob great to see you thanks so much for coming in good morning thanks for having me you are how many days on the job now <laughs> this day well if you count the weekend six but day four <laughs> Uh, I took a little bit of break over the weekend. I had some stuff I had to do, but uh, still stayed engaged. And but this is day four, and excited. I have to say, when I saw the list of eight names that were being considered, uh, I was drawn to your name and immediately thought, "This is a slam dunk. They're going to select Rob Blair." And the reason why I said that is because uh, there are very few people I can say this about, but. There's not a negative opinion out there of you from the people that I ask about, right? So I, I mention your name, and it's just simply praise. Now, that's going to end now that you're in elected office, of course. <laughs> but your, your resume spoke for itself, and, and the quality of person that you are speaks for itself. And, and I mean, I even remember when you were a Little League coach, and your son was yeah, playing yes, uh, Little League ball and broadcasting those games yes, sir. and such. And even as a Little League coach, you didn't make a point of berating the umpires, uh, for instance. Mm -hmm. At least not that I could hear so well. <clears throat> yeah. I might have got angry a few uh, times, but it uh, happens. showed respect. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And, and uh, that's an impressive part of your personality. And to build upon what you said, Rob, for the last two or three election cycles, when names are being floated for sheriff, I've heard numerous people say, I hope Rob Blair throws his name into the ring. Because a lot of us have been hoping that you would do that for quite a while now. So the, the question becomes, why did you submit your name for consideration now when you had resisted opportunities to run in the past? I think it's the timing of it, um, timing of my... Uh, my life, uh, where I was at in life. Uh, I had some discussions with Mary Beth. Uh, I, I joked the other day that I used to be known as uh, Mary Beth's husband. Uh, it's kind of changed now. So I don't know if it will or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Hey, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm in the same place with you. <laughs> yeah, I understand that, how exactly. that works. Yeah. So, uh, well, she's a hurricane. <laughs> yes, and I'm, I'm blessed. Um, but... It's been a while. I've been having a conversation with my wife about, you know, my my career. I, I was working with the insurance commission as a special agent, and uh, just um, I knew I had to have a change. And I don't I don't know why. I just felt like I needed a change. And I was already in the process of of um, leaving uh, some great people I was working with, uh, and this opportunity just kind of came out of left field. And um, uh, did a lot of prayer, uh, a lot of uh, wise counsel, uh, even some wise counsel told me I was crazy, uh, <laughs> and uh, good friends of mine, I said, uh, politely said, hey, uh, you can have that opinion, but just ask you to support me if I if I de decide to do this, and uh, so I, um, you know, 
I just felt like it was the right thing to do. I, I say that a lot, say that a lot to my kids. You know, just do the next right thing. And uh, I felt like it was the right thing to do. Um, I love my community. Uh, you know well that I'm not forced, but I, I, I'm, I'm involved in the community with um, different organizations, my church, um, Main Street, Apple Harvest. Um, but uh, I love this community. I want, to be, I want it to be the best community in the state of West Virginia. Rob, you had a career in law enforcement, state trooper, yes. uh, man in charge here in the Eastern Panhandle. Uh, why law enforcement? And uh, you retired from that, and obviously we're right back into it again. That's a great question. Um, I don't know if you know this, but my father, um, he was a state trooper. I started in April 1st, 1962, uh, and I was born in November of 1966, so I was born into law enforcement. Uh, it was something that, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I talked about this the other day, we, we traveled a lot from Huntington to, to southern West Virginia down around Backley, and we passed the State Police Academy, and, and as a little child, I always said, that's where I'm going one day, that's where I'm going one day, and, you know, I just caused my dad the respect I had for him, and, of course, fast forward, once I was in law enforcement, my father-in-law uh, two-term sheriff here in Berkeley County, Shug Kisner. Um, it's just, it, it, honestly, I tell people all the time, if I didn't, if I didn't know law enforcement, getting into law enforcement, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. So. Bill? Yeah, uh, Rob, uh, or oh, Sheriff, congratulations again. You you made a lot of us very happy when you decided to run for the job. Uh, I see there's only uh, uh, still a few days left for people to file, but no one has filed on the Republican side against you. There has been uh, someone on the Democratic side, uh, but that's... It, I think that's a test to your uh, the respect you're held in the community. Uh, by this time, normally you'd find several folks filing for sheriff, but right now on the Republican side, no one except yourself. Uh, one of the questions that uh, uh, has has risen uh, that the fact that you are been appointed for one year precludes you for running for two full four year terms. Now you were saying all fair that that may not necessarily be the case i'm no legal expert yeah. but i uh, i spoke to uh, a gentleman that's familiar with uh, uh i don't know if it was sheriff doherty i believe was uh, appointed yeah and, the late pete doherty yeah pete doherty. and according to him he ran two more terms i haven't researched yeah. that um i probably will i'll just sure. inquire about it and get some legal legal opinions on that but i know there's case law that the commission cited that um, this would be considered a term, and I was even, you know, told that, you know, are you sure you want to do this? And given the circumstances, I felt it was again the right thing to do. Um, you know, I um, even if it is five years, then I'll do the best I can for five years. Uh, I hope I'm elected. <coughs> uh, I hope uh, I can. Uh, this year is going to be a, a year of uh, learning a lot. I've already, I, mean, I learned a lot. I'm telling you, uh, there's a lot of responsibilities with the sheriff's department. We have a lot of good people, and everyone always thinks the, the sheriff's department is law enforcement. Well, you've got a lot of uh, responsibilities with the tax office. I was just going to ask that question. No, I'm sorry. I, I just remember, <laughs> um, you know, the the sheriff is the chief tax collector yes. of of the county, yes. and everybody sort of puts that piece aside right. and just looks at the law enforcement piece right. but talk a little bit about in your four days of vast experience um you know what that piece of your job will look like share well that was actually one of the first places i went to i wanted to you know get to know the the ladies and one guy <laughs> i think it's jeremy i think is his name um a lot of great people over there barb gooden yeah, you been there for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She does a fantastic job, um, and um, I've, I've had, I think I signed like 90 documents the other day. Uh, so uh, um, there's there's a lot of conservatorships that we're responsible, I'm responsible for, and um, but they do a magnificent job over there. I've, I've we're you know, a few things we we need to, you know, some requests from them. We're gonna you know help them out i want to be a, a resource to them i don't want them to think that you know i'm just over here in law enforcement but uh i've got some great help on the law enforcement side too so 
Bob yeah. Blair is our guest. He is the new sheriff of Berkeley County. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, it's an unfair question, uh, but I'll ask it anyway. Uh, I realize you've only been on board four years, uh, four days or so, uh, but yet you've been involved in the community and observer of the sheriff's department over the years. Uh, on the long term, talking about toward the end of your uh, your tenure, Sheriff, be it five years or, or nine years, uh, is, there, is there a direction that you think the Sheriff's Department needs to move to that is not covered in times past? Uh, I think they do a magnificent job now. Um, I, my, my whole... When I, when I was talking about the direction, I, I really want to see uh, the community connection. Uh, sometimes in law enforcement, I was guilty of it, we're all guilty of it. Um, you see the worst of the worst and you deal with the public and you, you might become just a little bit hardened. And, um, and I, I talked about this the other day, you know, uh, everyone in life has purpose, even the guy sitting on the park bench. Uh, we need to treat people with decency, and, and I'm not saying we have it in the past, but uh, I want our agency, the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department, working with the state police, working with the city police, working with any law enforcement agency in the, in the county, you know, cooperatively. Uh, there's always an agency, you know, that's the state police, that's the sheriff. I'll, I come from a task force background. Uh, served two times on Eastern Panel Drug and Violent Crimes Task Force, and we had a kind of a thing that we talked about. We, when we came into the office, our, our agency identity stayed at the door, and we worked as police officers together to make a difference in the uh, in the community, and uh, it was very successful. And uh, and that's I just that's the thing we're having a training right now at the uh, Sheriff's Department. Seventy five um, individuals from various agents from all over it's gang related we're doing that right now as i speak i gotta greet the people this morning before i came here and that's kind of stuff i just want cooperation just total cooperation wherever we can if we can be an asset to someone that's what i want to want to do you mentioned gang related for training uh is is that a significant problem in eastern pan now uh it, it has been i mean we're obviously an iron 20 minutes from two major cities sure. and then you got Philadelphia and you got we're, we're we're right in the middle of stuff and and unfortunately we are a market for the things that gangs and drug dealers this is a prime market and uh if the Eastern Panhandle Drug and Violent Crimes Task Force has been a major major asset to the people don't see it yeah. you know people see the flash the, the you know this this bust and they don't do that they they're working cases that no one ever sees and i think you'll see some fruits of that uh in in the future and and we're going to we're going to really support that we have one member on there now and we're going to we're going to look at that hard and see if we can even resource it more i think it's a testament to our sheriff and our police force in martinsburg and the state police that we as citizens do not see the manifestation of gang gang wars and the like you folks have done a nice job of keeping it under control i'm sure it exists it's just the fact that we as regular citizens fortunately do not see it on a first-hand basis yes sir you're, you're right about that uh, ann rose in our comment section uh, wrote rob that you mentioned in your interview you were bringing someone alongside who would be impressive and uh a person who knew a lot. Uh, who is that person, and when will that person be joining you? Uh, he's already on board, uh, and uh, it's um, he. He is his title right now is uh, Chief Administrative Officer. Uh, it's Eric Burnett. He just retired from the state police. Uh, he brings along a lot of qualities that that is going to be an asset to the agency. He's uh, uh, he was the um, military surplus officer for the state police state police um, and that's that's a program that um, the military gets a lot of equipment that they sometimes that well they don't use and it's it's very good equipment he he's been able to identify that he's he's he's, he's up on a lot of law enforcement things that's going to help me in this transit this is a this is a very unique transition period usually you know you get the election in november and then you have that space and but we're, we hit the ground running, and mm-hmm. um, so it's it's we've got some things to work out in this this period of transition. But uh, he's going to be a big, big asset to me. Is he effectively your number two? 
My, my number two right now, the 102, is Tom Young. And uh, he's, he's still there. Uh, and he's been nothing but professional uh, to me. And he's uh, my, my hope is that he can help uh, uh, Burnett, uh, Eric Burnett, make this transition successfully. And uh, it's temporary, uh, but uh, I think it's going to work really well. Um, and again, it's for the benefit of the citizens of Berkeley County and the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department to make this transition the easiest and, and best we can. Uh, so maybe you could answer this question for us as a career law enforcement person and then someone who's kind of outside looking in as a registered voter who was voting in elections for sheriff and, and what have you. The Sheriff's Department, Department in Berkeley County for the last several terms has been the most dramatic public office in the Eastern Panhandle. Um, I'm not stating that as fact, I'm stating it as my opinion, but I've heard many others say the same thing. From the 30,000 feet view, as a person who's been in law enforcement and was then out of it as a registered voter voting for this position, do you have any idea why that seems to be the case? If Presuming you agree with me, uh, but do you have any idea why that area is such for drama? I don't. I, maybe it's certain personalities. I I, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm probably the least dramatic person you ever meet. <laughs> I, just, I, I it's just not me. I, I don't uh, I don't like to. It's one of the things I said when I when I did that. I did. I don't want this to be about me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want this to be about me. And um, that was my my hope, my prayer, and um, I want it to be about the men and women, and the civilians, the the different. Uh, departments of the I want the focus to be on them because they do some great work that I don't think often gets gets um, uh, the attention it probably um, but I think maybe that's from my task force background that you know we did the right thing we did great cases some of the stuff we did and we didn't go out and like seek the attention like look at what we did um, we, we, we like to help the uniform division work with them and I don't know. I just I'm not a dramatic person, and I really don't know. You know I couldn't really answer that totally for you. I don't. Yeah, Rob used the term personality, and I think that's that's right. Uh, the sheriff's department has not always been the most dramatic department in the county. At one time, as a prosecuting attorney, and then Katie came in, and she was a uh, personality kind of let's get the job and done. And then the county clerk for a while. <laughs> and, yeah, that's, so there's been several. Of them. But going back to the uh, 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 to relationships, uh, you you. I think you have a history of working well with people. The sheriff, uh, sheriff, your predecessors have not always had that reputation. I think uh, Nate Harmon started off working very well with the county commission. Then toward the end, there was some friction between the two. Uh, the county commission has no operational control. It has physical control. Uh, do you anticipate any real problems of working with the commission? Um, I am going to go out of my way yeah. to work with the commission. I, I respect each and every one of them. Uh, I've known a couple of them for over 35 years, probably. Yeah. Um, uh, Commissioner Catlett and Commissioner Gokin. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I have the highest respect for them. Yeah. I'm getting to know uh, the president, Ms. Uh, Commissioner Whitaker, and uh, uh, I look forward to getting to know uh, Commissioner Boyd and yeah. Barnhart. Yeah. Um, um, so I, you know, other than, uh, I, I'm going to do everything I can to work with them. Uh, and, uh, I, I look forward to getting to know them. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of my things, uh, like with the prosecuting attorney's office, you mentioned Katie had a great meeting with her. Um, and, uh, I have the utmost respect for her office, uh, Joe Kenzer mm-hmm. and, um, I actually met with Kevin Miller. I've had a long-term, um, professional relationship with Kevin Miller, the investigator down there. And uh, I just look forward to working cooperative with everyone. I, mm-hmm. Even if I don't agree with people, um, I still want to work with them. I still want to, you know, hear what they have to say in, in, in that, that respect. Do you think you're adequately staffed right now? Uh, we're, we are, now I'm glad you said that. Um, what's the date? We're, we're, we're doing some testing. Um, on February 
24th for um, hiring. Uh, we have five. We're going to be hiring five. And hopefully, and I know this is a nationwide problem, trying to get the candidates, uh, qualified candidates, for it. We'll, you know, we're hiring five. Uh, hopefully, we have a large pool to pick from that five. But February 24th, the applications are due to the county clerk by February 14th. Um, so that's five positions. So to know, I guess we're not adequately staffed up to yeah. what we have. And of course, you know, we have a budget coming up that you know, we make your request. So I, I, I don't. We are we are close to being staffed to what we're funded yeah. for, but uh, we could always use more manpower. Sure. So what what's sure. the number then, Rob, of deputies that um, that would make for a complete force? And so you're five fewer than that right now, or um, is it more than that? Well, uh, I'm I'm told 67 right okay. now, and um, that's some of the stuff I'm, I'm really looking into. And that's one of the things I, w I want to research and find out our population compared to um, uh, officer population ratio. Of course, you always have the state police. You know, they have manpower, uh, and that's a consideration covering the entire county. So, but uh, we're, um, we're just going to look at that statistically. We're the second largest county in the state, and I think soon we'll probably be the largest. So we're going to have to grow. We're going to have to grow with the population. And uh, I'm, I can safely say we probably don't have enough law enforcement compared to the population, but that's something we're going to look at as I get into this, and, and we'll obviously make the right uh, requests and hopefully get the right manpower. Ron, we have to wrap up pretty soon here. Uh, oh, it's 9.30, just about. But uh, uh, quickly, if you could, uh, the situation you walked into is clearly an interesting one. Uh, your first address to the room, what did you say to the deputies? Well, actually, I have not addressed the deputies overall. Uh, we're meeting, I'm meeting with the top command staff today, and we're going to strategically plan that. It's, I want to I talk to everyone, but uh, the overall thing that I've passed down to them, do the next right thing to them as long as they're doing the right thing they may make mistakes of effort those are the things that we can deal with uh, it's the it's the purposeful things that that happen that you know aren't mistakes of effort that's what gets you in trouble so and I don't see a lot of trouble there I see a lot of individuals that want to want to be the best and that's what we, I want to equip them to do and if I can resource them guide them lead them and that way that's 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 my desire in regards to whether a sheriff can serve more than eight years, I got a text from Matt Umstead uh, that you cannot. Uh, the, the Doherty situation was one in which he was appointed and then ran to finish the unexpired term and then ran for re-election and got another four years, but he did not serve a full eight years, and yeah. because of that, he could not uh, then run a, a second, a third time, I guess I guess you would say. Matt's, Matt's probably right on that. That's yeah. just information I'd received. So. And I got a second text verifying that as well from our unofficial research department. That's, that's good. <laughs> Rob, thanks for coming in. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank I, you I know you're very busy. We appreciate you carving the time out. Thank you. New Sheriff of Berkeley County, Rob Blair.